Hi friends, welcome back. This is Solomon Jagwe. I am back with an exciting new update. You're gonna love this guys. So if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are alerted to you are alerted when I post a new video and an update like this one. And to everybody else that has subscribed, thank you so much for your support. So anyway, today guys this is extremely exciting people have been asking me is it possible to actually stream live into das 3d like is it even possible well check this out so this is a new app that's coming out and as you can see let me see if i can angle my camera here and as i am talking you can see the character moving the lips over there so it's almost like the face cap app but this is called uh, the face motion live app so the team that brought you face motion has made an app an ios app i don't know yet if an android version is available but this is the one that i'm testing right now and it's awesome <laughs> it's incredibly this is going to change the way we do animation in da studio guys okay so what what's actually neat is that what you see on the screen right now that's happening me talking you're gonna see that character talking so I did a video before that showed this guy. He was talking uh, talking about uh, Lakota and I used a uh, filament to render him. But that animation was coming from face motion and we're using the face cap app to uh, put the animation through the facial animation. But this one is live and it's taking advantage of uh, the depth sensing camera for the iPhone 10 and above. So watch what happens. So I'm gonna, sorry for the camera moving so much. It's just, I'm, I'm excited. I wanted to share this with you. So look at this here, okay? I'm gonna go to the tabs up here, window, pen tabs, and then I'm gonna bring up face motion live. Okay. All right, guys. So I go to the uh, windows tab here, window, pens, tabs, and then I bring up the face motion live uh, plugin. And I, I make sure the figure is loaded. Select, you go to select here, click select, and then press load figure, and you see moving a little bit, and then go live. Click on live. Guess what's happening now? So as I am talking, the character is also moving the lips. Oh, wah, bah, 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 testing, testing, one, two, three. <laughs> so this is really cool. This is streaming live into Da Studio, guys. And it's coming from this app right here. So even as that, let me move back a little bit. And you can see me turn my head like that. So everything that I'm doing on this app is happening here in let me actually stay in front of the camera here so you can see when i blink you can see that blinking when i and even the tongue is actually working <laughs> there was someone who had mentioned that uh, they were missing that like attenuation that kind of uh, nuance of the character talking without the tongue but this app supports the tongue so the character can actually do that so um, I'm going to do another video at some point going through the, all the you know, features of the app in that panel right there. But uh, for today, I just wanted to share this exciting update. And before, I mean, we had to rely on FaceCap to go in and do the facial animation in Da Studio. But right now, as you can see, I'm speaking live. The character is moving as I am talking. And this is going to change the way we do. So I'm, I'm testing on this human character, but of course I want to do tests on like... Uh, some creatures, I want to see even the, if the animals in the studio can actually talk using this app. And I think it's going to be, I don't, I can't say exactly when it's going to be available on the DAS 3D marketplace, but uh, from talking to the developer, uh, this is, I mean, he's made a lot of progress. He's been uh, testing this for a long time and finally it's made available now. So I think the next level would be definitely to have this be driven by a motion capture suit to actually go live while you're wearing the suit and have this mounted like in a head mounted camera rig 
and be able to talk you know so that is what's incredible with this uh, new tool and the app itself comes in uh, several flavors so when this app becomes available on the app store you will be able to unlock a recording limit as well as the streaming limit and what you do is just click on unlock limit and at the bottom you see the price which is at $19.99 that is for the recording limit and then for the streaming limit if you click on that you see at the bar at the top uh, for the streaming limit to unlock the streaming limit you select the program that you want so for example it's Dust Studio and then you press purchase so that is a uh, four forty nine and for the you can also purchase a permanent license for seventy nine ninety nine and so when you're ready you just uh, just click on the program that you want right now it's a uh, Unity Maya Dust Studio and Blender that are supported and once you have it purchased for example I have Dust Studio and click done and then you click click your purchase uh, that will unlock the limit the streaming limit for da studio and whichever application that you're going to be working with the fact that it's actually available for maya blender and I, the unity engine uh, is awesome so guys i i think this is going to be a great thing for all of us as indie uh, storytellers and uh, i think one of the things that uh, that I keep struggling with, of course, sometimes is uh, the speed of the machine because filament uh, as it is right now, this is the quality that you can get. And I know I can push it a little bit uh, better than that. And so being able to render real time something that looks realistic, like close to the Unreal Engine, that would be so awesome, you know, so that we can actually record this in real time and an animation is kind of done. So filament is make this, making this possible for us to be able to record as you can see here and have shadows and see the, the animation being able to you know, like smoothly work and i can actually adjust the camera angle so you can see it from this other side so this is very very impressive so a big thank you to kenneth and his team uh the uh, the developers behind face motion to be able to create face face motion live here and make it available for us as, as uh, indie filmmakers uh, to be able to create uh, our fi uh, animation for our characters and to tell our stories. So this is so, so cool, guys. And I'll, I'll continue to share more insights as I test it and have uh, produce more like animations. And I would definitely want to do a test on uh, other kind of characters. <laughs> I kind of moved away from the camera. So here you can actually see me talk, blink, wins brow furrowed and then the eyebrows and you can see the wrinkle maps up there that is really really cool and i can turn my head over here and all this is made possible because i can distribute the keys and did, uh, you notice something down here it's saying does cannot keep up with the frame setting so there's a 50 percent loss so your machine is going to play a big role in how well this plays back but as you can see, even with that message, my machine is performing much better than I had expected. So this is really, really cool. And I think as we continue to optimize, uh, for example, filament render, uh, I know I can't do this with a uh, NVIDIA IRA. <laughs> the machine would chug. But the, well, if we get to the point where we can get the same quality as IRA in filament, that will be a game changer for sure. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And man, what a, what a time to be alive for sure. Uh, this just uh, happened. I mean, this is 2021. I think it's going to be awesome. So as uh, Dust Studio continues to develop and advance, uh, this is one of the additions that is going to make a difference. And uh, I can't wait for this to become available on the Daz 3D Marketplace so you guys can play with it. Because I know when you give a creative a tool like this, bets are off. <laughs> I know people are gonna create all kinds of crazy stories from this and uh, being able to uh, you know, stream live from your iPhone 10. And I hope that uh, you know at some point an Android version will be available because not everyone can afford an iPhone. And so, but you know, the depth sensing camera uh, technology is currently on the iPhone 10. This used to be face shift, by the way, uh, the technology that you're watching this. So we just uh, blessed to have, because they took it off the market when face shift was bought by, you know, Apple. 
then it came back in this iteration of the depth sensing camera in the iPhone 10. So, but to be able to go back and be able to create a character that can actually can have this kind of attenuation is uh, very impressive. So guys, thanks again for joining me for this new insight and uh, it's exciting times. I'll see you next time and please dare to dream big. Don't give up on your dream. Don't ever give up on your dream. And fortunately, we're living at a time when these new tools are becoming available on the market and we can tell our stories. Uh, see you next time. Uh, peace out. Bye for now.